Hi, welcome to this tutorial. In this video, we are going to go through simple and compound interest IGCAC past paper questions. These questions are from paper 2. Before we move forward, we should know that simple interest is written as I, principal as P, rate of interest as R, time in years as T when we are finding simple interest, and when we use the compound interest formula, we write time in years as n. Amount is written as a. To find simple interest, we use interest is equal to PRT over 100. Suppose they ask you to find the principal year. So you have to learn to make P the subject or R or T, depending on your question. In some simple interest questions, they will ask you to find the interest and then they will tell you find the total amount. Total amount is equal to principal plus interest. Compound interest, when we are finding compound interest, we will use the formula A is equal to P bracket 1 plus R over 100 to the power of N. P is the principal, R is the rate of interest, N is time in years. When our amount is increasing, this is the formula we use. When it is decreasing, we will put a minus here. Let's begin. Shania invests $750 at a rate of 2.5% per year simple interest. Calculate the total amount Shania has after 5 years. This is a very easy question and with very great marks, 3 marks. So let's see what has been given to us. We have been given the principal, which is $750, the rate of interest, which is 2.5, and the time in years, which is 5. To find simple interest, we will do PRT over 100. Now we'll replace our P, R, and T. And we will get 93.75 if they wanted only simple interest we would have stopped here but they want us to find the total amount Shania has after five years so we'll use the other formula amount is equal to principal plus interest principal is 750 plus 93.75 this will give us 843.75. Let's read the next question. Marcel invests $2,500 for three years at a rate of 1.6% per year simple interest. And Jax invests $2,000 for three years at a rate of X percentage per year compound interest. At the end of the three years, Marcel and Jax receive the same amount of interest. Calculate the value of X correct to three significant figures. This is a bit complicated and it has five marks. The connection in this question between Marcel and Jax is that Marcel's interest is the same as the interest Jax has. So first we will find Marcel's interest. What are the things that we have for Marcel? The principal has been given to us. The rate of interest is given to us. And the time is given to us. So simple interest will be PRT over 100. 2500 multiplied by 1.6 multiplied by 3 over 100. This will give us 120. For Jax, we know that the interest of both of them are same. To find the amount Jax will have, we will have to use this formula. So principal is 2000 plus 120. Jack's amount is 2120. To find the rate of interest, we will have to use amount is equal to P 1 plus R over 100 
to the power of n and we already know Jack's principle is 2000 and his rate of interest is x and the time in years is 3 so 2120 is equal to 2000 to the power of 3 when we divide 2120 by 2000 this is a multiply year so when I bring here it will become divide you don't need to calculate at every step till you make x the subject you can keep writing the steps so now we have 1 plus x over 100 to the power of 3 to remove the cube I will have to write this as a cube root so we have 2 1 2 0 over 2000 to the power of 1 over 3 now we can bring the plus 1 here it will become negative 1 and this whole thing we will multiply by 100 The reason we multiplied by 100 is this is a divide when we bring it it's going to become a multiply everything in the calculator and you will get 1.96 is equal to x the third question tells us that Bruce invested dollar 420 at a rate of 4 percentage per year compound interest find the total amount bruises after two years correct to two decimal places we need to give our answer and it's a three mark question it's a very simple question we just have to use the compound interest formula so let's write what has been given to us principle is 420 rate of interest is 4 time in years is 2 Using the amount formula, principle 1 plus r over 100 n will replace everything 4 over 100 and the whole bracket to the power of 2. The answer is 454.27. Question number 4. Boris invests $280 for two years at a rate of 3% per year compound interest. Calculate the interest Boris receives at the end of the two years and give your answer correct to two decimal places. Let us write down the information that has been given to us. Principal is $280. Time is two years. And rate of interest is three percentage let's write down the information given to us principal is 280 dollars time in years two rate of interest three percentage he invests in compound interest so the formula for compound interest is amount is equal to principal one plus r over 100 to the power of n but in the question they ask us to find the interest if the amount and the principal is given to you and you need to find the interest you need to use the other formula amount is equal to principal plus interest make interest your subject so interest is equal to amount minus the principal let's substitute whatever values we have in this equation and get our amount so principal is 280, 1 plus 3 over 100 to the power of 2. Put this in the calculator and you will get 297.05.
and we will replace the amount here 297.05 and minus the principal from it the answer we get is 17.05 so that is our final answer that is the interest that he gets moving on to the next question Carol invests six thousand two hundred and fifty dollars at a rate of two percentage per year compound interest. Calculate the total amount Carol has after three years. This question carries three marks and it's a very easy, straightforward question. It's a compound interest question, so we just have to use the formula and plug in the information that we have. So we have been given that principal is equal to six thousand two hundred and fifty dollars the rate of interest is two percentage and the time is three years our formula is the power of n it's a good idea to always write the formula in each question you will be able to memorize it easily substitute the values so 6250 bracket 1 plus 2 over 100 to the power of 3. Putting this in the calculator, we get 6632.55. So that's our final answer, 6632.55. Please subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification button. So whenever I upload a video, you will be notified. It will help you to solve the past paper questions easily. Also, please like this video and share it with your friends so the revision will become easy for them also. Thank you for watching the video.